Good morning, lovelies, and welcome back to my channel. Um, if you watched the last one, you will be, hopefully, you will be prepared that this is the second part of the really huge, for me, Timu haul that I've done recently. Um, I'm wearing one of the t-shirts that I bought. Um, if you watch the previous video, you'll see me have done a little dance for you in it. Yeah, that was really rubbish. Sorry, I do apologise. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it feels really nice to the touch. Um, it doesn't hide anything. So if you aren't confident in your body and you don't like your lumps and bumps, um, it, this is like a jersey type t-shirt. It's slightly more silky feeling than just a standard jersey t-shirt. But it do, it's not going to hide anything. It's... Um, but if, like me, you've got to the stage where this is me, um, yeah, I really like these t-shirts, though. For the price, you can't go wrong. So, definitely still a big thing. thumbs up. I can't speak this morning. Uh, I'll put a little link again for, for these t-shirts. Uh, we may find more in the haul that we are carrying on. So, without any further ado... I haven't even done a proper welcome. Uh, so, hi, I'm Jane. If you already know me, lovely to see you all. Um, and um, if you're new here, welcome to my channel. I do a lot of shopping hauls, the majority of which recently have been Timu. Um, but that's what people seem to be w wanting to see, um, to get things that they can see someone's honest opinion. All my opinions are my own. Uh, I'm not sponsored. I do have a link for Timu, um, if you wanted to save a bit of money, if, if you're new to Timu, uh, I think it's new customers only, or new accounts, so open another account if you need to, but um, if you want to use them, but by all means use them, but by all means if you don't want to, don't. Um, so yeah, let's just get right in there. Again, I'm waiting for comments as to whether you want me to... Sorry if you are sensitive to that noise for that. <laughs> but if you would like me to um, unpack before the videos, obviously let me know. Um, right, this is a bag. Now, you're probably thinking, is it a pencil case? Is it a clutch bag? No, it will have a strap inside or it should have a strap inside. It has a little zip at the front here. Let's test it and make sure it is a real. Yep, yeah, there is a little mini pouch at the front. It does zip up. And then it looks like we have two zips on the top. Ah, yes. This is the strap that comes with it. Reminds me of... I should know because I have one of the tote bags. Uh, Tom Ford. His smaller bags come with interesting straps and it does remind me it's got little hooks on either side to attach the straps to so it can be used as a shoulder bag a cross body bag and yet yeah, two inner pouches there's no um extra little you know sometimes you've got an extra little bag pouch inside the pouch there isn't on that but there is that little one at the front so um you can kind of get the idea of the size with a you know two hands um so it's not huge but it, you'd certainly be able to fit your phone your keys lipstick money card whatever you're taking you'd be able to fit in there and the strap is adjustable so you could make that as long or as short as you want. Um, full length is probably what I would need. Let's try it. Let's try it and then you guys know. So it's just a little hook feature on the side. So it holds it as a crossbar. It's relatively high up, 
And I don't have a problem with that for, you know, if you're out and about shopping, it's a safety thing, I suppose, isn't it? The closer it is to you like that. But that's the full length of the strap on me. I'm about five foot six and it comes up to, that's my hip bone there. So that just gives you an idea. Hope that's helpful. I really like that. That's really cute. And I love the colour. Oh, now to all my fellow menopause ladies or just people who run hot in general. A little portable fan. Oh, and it works straight away. You can see the, that it's moving my hair. Oh, that is going to be heavenly. Oh, you can go faster. Three, one, off, oh, right, so one speed. Lose my hair that much. Two speed. Three speed. So, okay. Oh, that. And that, you know, it's just going to tuck in a, even a little handbag when you're out and about. Oh, and it's rechargeable. So you don't need batteries, which is brilliant. Let's just plug it inside there. And it, it's a adapter that's kind of for pretty much anything nowadays this one most things it's that universal adapter oh that is going to be an absolute godsend um do you know of everything i've bought this is probably my favorite and that is because anyone else who is suffering with uh going through the menopause or hot flashes or just runs hot Honestly, don't walk, run. I might need to buy more of these just to make sure I've got them everywhere. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. And the fact that it arrives already with a charge in it. And it's not that noisy. I mean, obviously it's a fan, it's going to be making a noise. But I wouldn't say... I think if anyone looks at you because you've got this on, it's going to be with jealousy, especially in the summer. Love it. Another one of the pencils. We're not going to bother showing you that because you've already seen it. You know. Oh, right. Let me get this out. Blimey. It's stuck. Oh, there we are. Oh, I was just checking. Do you know, I had a brain fog moment and I couldn't actually even see if I was recording. That would just be my... Total sods law. Do this whole video for you. And I wasn't even recording. Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> now, these are uh, obviously artificial flowers. Um, and they're like blossom. They're like cherry blossoms. You get one, two, three, four, five stems. I think they're really pretty. I haven't got a vase nearby. But yeah, imagine them just stood in a vase, just out of the way, never going to die on you. I think they're quite pretty. As artificial flowers go, yes, obviously, it's blatantly obvious when you look up close that they're artificial. But I think if you just saw them on a bookcase or in a vase or something, just discreetly, if they were behind me, you would never know, obviously, on a video. Um, yeah, I quite like those. I'm a fan. Hey, <laughs> fan. <laughs> Sorry, childish, I know. 
Right. Uh, oh, it's another T-shirt. But this is, I think this is the long sleeve version of this. Which if I remember rightly, I ordered one. Yes, long sleeved. So still scoop neck. It's just got full sleeved. It's still got that very light ribbing effect. Same soft, almost silky material. Um, yeah, I like that. Uh, ooh, it's more clothing. Ah, it's leggings, I remember now. Leggings, yes. So, oh, they feel amazing. Oh, that's, oh, I don't know how to describe that. I do what everyone's always says, it's buttery soft, but it really is. That's lovely. Oh, that's a big fan of that, that feel. It's even got pocket, quite a deep pocket, so you could put your phone in it, I suppose, if you needed it. Um, it's got a pocket on both sides. I will. Maybe not show you me in them. <laughs> not sure if I'm feeling that body confident. But um, you'll see the link. But oh, they feel amazing. Wow. I'm, I'm looking forward to trying them on. The real test is if they're going to stay up. That's the big thing, I think, isn't it? Oh, as soon as I open this end, I see fluff, which, oh, and the fluff's dropping off. Of course it is. I know what this is. More phonus. And this one actually comes in a, a cardboard box, which makes me happy because I can recycle that. But obviously also in plastic bag. And it's got the, um, the, the wire twist tie thing. That's the second one of those I've had in this package. Yes, the first one was just on the cable for my fan, of which I'm a fan. Now this, as all pampas grasses are, will be messy because you need them you can see it all falling, but you need it to fluff it out. So there's um, one, two, three, four, five different kinds in here. Um, oh, I really like them. I think one they're on display. I mean, the, the, I'm not going to lie. The fallout is big. There is a lot of fallout. But I think if I take them outside in the wind, let them have a good fluff up, blow about, they're going to look lovely in a vase as well. Maybe with, maybe mixed with my, um, cherry blossoms. Uh, oh, these are for my daughter. the patches um, for when you get a, a blemish. I, at the ripe old age of 50, very, very rarely, I've never really had much of a problem with my skin with, with blemishes, but they're, these, they're stars and hearts in different sizes and different colours. And they're a high, hydro... This one says hydrocolloid and salicylic acid salicylic acid so i think it's like a yeah you just put them wherever you've got a breakout and she uses them a lot and i thought well we'll give them one, those ones a try i bought another ring i think i bought quite a few rings actually i like wearing rings but 
I don't know if anyone else is in the same boat as me. As I've got older, my knuckles have got bigger and I just can't wear. I can't wear my engagement ring or my eternity ring or even my wedding ring anymore. So I'm quite sad about that. But this one is, it, it's like a nail effect, but it's got crystals on the middle section of it. But I don't know if you can, it's just not even going to focus for me. I'll put a link um, and also of a company. It, I, I'm going to say it's Cartier, but I can't be 100% sure that does something, um, the real version. It's obviously it's adjustable. I'm saying obvious. If you've watched my videos, you know I need adjustable rings. And I've put it on my middle finger. I like I like having a selection of rings. I think it looks pretty. This next one, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking this is a notepad, but it's not. Look there, they're sponges. Well, they will be once you've rehydrated them. At the minute, dehydrated, they are literally. A whiff of thin. Um, slight unpleasant smell on opening, but the sponges themselves don't smell. Um, yeah, there's no aroma from that at all. So it's obviously just the air in the bag. But yeah, so I mean, when I'm talking about a sponge, uh, do you know what? I'm going to get some water and demonstrate it. I'm back. I have a jug of water. I have a wafer thin sponge, wafer thin. I'm literally putting it in the water. Squeezing it out. And you see, it's, it's a lot thicker um, than the wafer thin it, but it's not, huge but yeah i can do that because i've got no makeup on um but yeah they're you know they're brilliant and i don't remember how many's in the packet i'm going to go with 100 there's a lot in there but i would say it's definitely reusable um but it's also really handy because you can just have one in in your handbag in the pouch in your handbag um and then if you happen to stay over somewhere that you weren't expecting you have a sponge for washing i like them they're fun again they'll probably go missing oh makeup brushes now i don't actually need any makeup brushes but watching another video someone was raving about the quality and the price so I thought I, I need to try this for you guys so you're welcome <laughs> uh, so you've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten twelve th oh, thirteen brushes so um, that one's obviously at an angle that one's not Oh, they're so soft. Very soft. Um, I would use, I would say I'm probably the large brushes. I would use all of those maybe with powders and maybe you could use that one. Oh, it's just so soft. That one might work for contouring, maybe. These are sort of lip and eye. Yeah, lip and eye, yeah. eyebrow, concealer, making everything, uh, and your eyeshadows. There's no particularly big fluffy eyeshadow like um, blending brushes, but they're very soft, very very soft. And I actually really like that colour that I got. It's like a coffee, coffee. 
coffee in bronze, I would say that the metal work on it is bronze. Um, I'm not going to lie, you can guarantee these are synthetic. Um, oh, I could just do that as part of a facial, just brushing. Sorry, I'm getting carried away now. I really like them. I think that's, um, you know, for the price, brilliant for travelling. I mean, the whole lot easily fits in my fist. So you could have them just as your travel brushes if you you didn't want to take your expensive brushes um, in case you lost them or whatever. But yeah, I think they're really good. Another thing to get nicked. <laughs> I don't mind. I don't mind in the slightest. Now we are, I mean, there's still a lot in this bag. Oh, clunk. Ah, carrying on with the saga of potato mashing or lack of potato mashing. The, the second pair of, um, the second potato masher I bought I'll show here, does actually work. Oh, that's sharp. Oh, I don't know if I like that. That feels like it's going to cut me. It's potato ricer. But as I'm peeling the blue sticker off, that and that feel sharp. Pushing your hand on it's not going to cut, but if you were to run your finger that quickly, I think you'd cut yourself on that. So don't be mashing potatoes or ricing potatoes in a hurry, is all I can say. Uh, but yeah, um, someone recommended to me that instead of getting a potato masher, I got a ricer. Now uh, this, all this blue is this protective sticker, but it's in all the joins. As you can see, all these little bits. Don't make it easy to remove. <laughs> Sorry about that, just sticking my tongue out randomly. So yeah, shove your potato in there, push that and squeeze it out. And it, potato rises are apparently brilliant for making really smooth mash or whatever you're mashing. Carrots, swede. But yeah, all right, well, we'll give it a go, but I'm just a little bit concerned I let my husband be the judge. Um, he'll just say it's just your girly hands. That's not going to cut anything. But a lot of us have girly hands. <laughs> Maybe I'll also finally have smooth mashed potato. Oh, now a phone stand. Is this the one for the... Yes, this is the one for the car, I believe. Does everyone know my pain of trying to find a stand that actually works for your phone in your car? Ah, right, okay. So this one, apparently... The last one we had is one that clips into the vent. They're useless. The vents aren't man enough. I know I shouldn't say that anymore. I'm sorry. Uh, aren't strong enough. So this has, oh, very sticky. That I'm proving you stick on the dashboard. You can twist those and then that moves. And then you can obviously clamp it where you want it. You can twist that and that lengthens a bit. 
and again that locks it in place that i'm not going to be able to do it now no i'm gonna to have to get my husband to do that i think there's probably a knack to it oh yeah there is this bit loosens it or tightens it so yeah you can then tighten that so that's stuck on your dashboard probably that way around and you can have that lent forward Push the arm out and that swivels as well. And then you can have your phone. I would demonstrate it with my phone. That's my phone there where you are right now is my phone. So yeah, um, fingers crossed that will be really handy in my daughter's car. So I got this one. So that unscrews, I'm presuming that then screws in. Then I'm presuming That screws back on. I could be completely wrong. You could be all sat there shouting at me going, no, Jane, no. Oh yeah, so that extends. I'm gonna say, well, now I suppose if you wanted your whole phone, you'd, ex you'd have it that way. Or if you want it that way, you'd have it width ways on. The legs go out, but they're also bendable. Nope. Oh. oh, I remember these. I bought these for myself. I like having bare feet in the house. But because we've got a lot of, well, I'm saying a lot of pets. Because we've got pets, there's a lot of dog hair and dog cat hair. And my husband worries I'm going to get it in my, feet, in my feet. So I bought this little pair of foamy rubber slider with teddy bears on. Oh, now I will not be trying these ones on for you. Um, you can see why. This is not that kind of channel. Knickers. One, two, three, four. So pink, blue, like a red, burgundy and black. They look nice. They feel nice. A uh, little keyhole. Oh, probably showing it on the black is probably the worst way of showing it. So the bum is a thong. It has a little keyhole and a little bow on the front. Feel nice, they're soft. It's got obviously a rib effect. Um, the lace detail all around the openings. Yeah, they're really nice. I won't be trying them on for you. That's the wrong, this is the wrong channel for that. <laughs> and I don't have an OnlyFans page before you all start wondering. Ooh. Oh no, I know exactly what I'm going to be trying these out on. I really hope they are. They work. I really hope they work. If I suddenly get cut off, my battery low things just shot up there. Secateurs. Uh, 
they they look good got nice handles i can't see it's definitely locked it looks like oh there we are there we are weighty they are heavy which is good you don't really want secretaries that don't have any strength to them and if there's this thing's stuck on the inside of the bag Actually, just another pencil I'm going to make sure there's nothing else stuck on the inside of the bag I can say I can never remember what I actually ordered by the time it gets here nah, that looks pretty good to me so last thing Whew, nearly done and this is well sealed up and you know there's so much stuff on the desk oh it's there I couldn't find my Clive couldn't find my Clive Now, the way this is packaged makes you think it's something glass or... I don't think I ordered anything like that, but you never know. I just... not glass. I've recently got into making my own butter as you may have seen on one of my previous videos and I saw this on Timu. It's a ceramic, sorry about the polystyrene, butter dish with a wooden lid it comes with its own little butter knife it sits in the lid it doesn't clip in the lid so it will fall, fall off when you lift the top the tops oh wooden top with the rubber sealing around the outside nice big ceramic butter dish oh I really like that I'm due to make butter today actually so oh, I like that that feels really good quality. As I said, that's heavy and it is, that's ceramic. It's not plastic. And even the handle of the knife is ceramic. Yay, big fan. Oh, well, well, I feel like I definitely need a cup of tea or something now. I should have said at the beginning, guys, get yourself a drink or a cup of tea it's going to be a long one <laughs> hopefully not that long but yeah hopefully there's some um, things in here that are of interest that um have helped you um have shown you stuff that you were interested in and didn't really want to buy it until you knew um obviously the only opinions i can give you are my initial opinions i haven't used anything yet but there's nothing there i'm disappointed with I suppose the only thing I'm concerned about is that. Um, but everything across the last two videos, or across all my team of videos, I've never had to send anything back. Um, I know some people do, and I believe the returns is, is very easy, which is brilliant. Um, but I haven't had to do any of that yet. But yeah, um, I'm really pleased with all of that stuff. But yeah, please like, subscribe, comments. I love hearing from you. I do respond to all my comments. Um, all the opinions are mine, 100% mine. But if you do want to use my link, it is um, in the description box. I'll maybe put it on the screen as well. And I think it is for new accounts only or new Timu customers only. But if you wanted to utilise them, open a second account. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. Um, but yeah, so um, let me know what other things you want to see me. If you want me to try different clothing or more clothing or if you want me to see men's clothing or, and you know, let me know. 
that I, there's so much to choose from on Timu. I get lost in the rabbit warren sometimes and I end up with orders like these that have just got a bit of all sorts going on. But hopefully you found that useful and yeah, I will see you next time.